Do you remember Flash games? Do you remember Warfare 1917? Or do you remember Warfare 1944? Well, those games were fantastic Flash games on probably AddictingGames.com or wherever I played it long ago. They're gone, I think. Well, at least the websites are, but we featured those games recently, maybe a year or two ago on the channel. I know, recently. <laughs> well, we have a new game known as North End Tower Defense. Now, this game is in development, and today we're going to see a mission which seems to be the German perspective of D-Day, except if they were to, like, invade New York. You're going to see World War I and World War II stuff mixed together as the developer is still developing many different maps and factions and weapons for a game that seems to have World War I and World War II in it. So that way you could possibly defend as the Germans in World War I or possibly defend against the, um, I don't know, British against the Germans in World War II for a fictional uh, Operation Sea Lion. Now, eh, who knows? Anyway, what I do know is that I played this game a little bit and I do like it. The first map is for World War One. The second map seems to be for World War II. Interestingly enough, you'd think you'd be playing the D-Day perspective as the Germans, but today we'll take it as if the Americans are defending against a full-scale German invasion on the coast of, let's say, New York. And so we're going to go ahead and try to defend against the Germans for as long as possible and eventually fail, as this game is one of those games where you have to try and try and try again. There's a bunch of different units in the game, too, that you can unlock over time. And eventually the developer will include armored units, so we'll get tanks and artillery and some other things. There's artillery in the game as well. M2 mortars available down here. We'll also pretty soon unlock the sniper and the bicycle. Every time you play, you get HP, some, some sort of uh, something points, I don't know. But anyway, you start with the M1 Garand, and then you unlock different types of attachments for it. And every time you play, all of your units get more and more buffed. Now, I'm sure the Germans will be in here later on as a playable faction for defense, and probably the same as the British and the Italians, and who knows. But that would be pretty cool to see. All right, let's go ahead and start a battle, and we'll go ahead and try to explain what the heck is going on here. Some nice um, models here, too. This reminds me a little bit of Toy Soldiers, which is another awesome turret defense game. Almost this looks like a model that hasn't been painted, you know, if you were doing some sort of a die cast or a diorama type thing. But everybody's got those smiley faces on. All right, let's go. Ah, Bazooka Soldiers 2. Right, so at the start of each battle, we can choose a new unit type. In this case, we're going to go with uh, the most effective, which is probably going to be the M1 Grand. We're going to go ahead and try to put those along the sandbags. The enemy will bicycle or walk or run out of these uh, landing craft. We'll have to hold the line. All right, the Germans are blowing the whistle to attack. So on the left side of the screen, we have all of our wonderful little uh, doodads to defend with. Wait a minute, is this a weird size? Let me fix that. Oh, it is. Okay, we're good. All right, so let's go ahead and um, add some troops to the defensive line. All right, things are going to get uh, spiced up here in a minute. Now we have access to scoped rifles for those M1s, so let's use those. And over here on the right side, we have command points, which we can call in airborne troops or set up minefields or even barbed wire. We're going to go ahead and go with a coin rush here, which will get us, get us additional coins to use against the Germans. All right, more guns will probably win in this scenario, so we're going to try to take uh, defensive troops here and put them on the line. Yeah, this certainly looks like a D-Day uh, landing site, doesn't it? Although it shows some, like, uh, I guess some World War One technology and, like, a Russian Ziz gun. <laughs> like it looks like a Ziz-2 or a Ziz-3. Now, it would be believable to see the French vehicles on the beach because the Germans would have captured those and used those and all the bunkers, too. But captured Russian equipment? Ah, uh, whatever. Anyway, let's go ahead and go with far side now. We're upgrading our M1s. Germans will hit us with artillery from time to time. They get special call-outs. This would be a fantastic multiplayer game if uh, the f your friends or whomever else got to uh, call out what they called off the boats and you got to call in whatever for defense. All right, if these bicycles hit the uh, wall, they're going to explode and they're going to hit the uh, troops on the defensive wall. So we don't want that to happen. They're going to knock them away from the wall and they'll die. Go ahead and call in some paratroopers now to fill in the gap here. We'll get three paratroopers, which are basically just riflemen. And they'll come in here on this. Americans apparently using the Junkers. <laughs> Again, it's in it's early access development, whatnot. Who cares? We gotta defend New York, boys! The Germans have launched their full-scale invasion on New York, and we gotta defend the line. I wonder if there was actually a name for that. I'll have to go watch a Mark Felton video or something to see if there was ever some sort of planned invasion. All right, let's go ahead and continue to uh, get more troops here. We're gonna go for medics now. And the medics will, of course, help to heal everybody up if they're wounded, but not when they're dead. So, of course, we'll go ahead and do that. Next wave in 2-1-0. All right, there we go. Another wave of Germans on the way. 
All right, the medics here get their little medic stations. And they'll be able to heal all of our friendly troops. Going to pop off here soon enough. Panzer Shreks will come pouring off those boats. The Germans will also have some armored troops with MG 42s. And there comes the Panzer Shreks. That's the next call in from the enemy. Uh, let's see, we can go ahead and call in a machine gun group, a bazooka group. I think the machine gun will be useful more than the bazooka, but still pretty useless because we're not going to be dealing with tanks. The only way the bazooka really works in this game is if the enemy troops are stationary. And the only time they're going to do that is when they hit the sandbag wall here. All right, more friendlies dropping in. Another bike. There we go. Well, we could try to set up some machine guns. They're spendy, though. 300 for a machine gun as we're a buck ten for each of these uh, M1 Garands. So plenty of uh, opportunity to fill in the gaps in the defenses. And we're going to continue to call out airborne troops. Let's call them a little further away from the line. If the bicycles hit the wall, they'll explode, but they won't do damage to our base. In the upper left corner, uh, you can see, like, the defenses for the HQ, which is somewhere inside the wall here. Maybe one of those machine gun nests. Those we get for free, which is great. So uh, let's go ahead and continue to save some points. More sandbags and upgrade for the machine gun. Uh, lightning speed upgrade for the medics. Since we have the medics, let's go for that one. Yeah, obviously, uh, yeah, World War One crashed planes out on the beach. I'm assuming these will eventually be updated with maybe, like, um, I don't know, uh, some sort of a bomber or maybe a recon aircraft of some type. Germans are using, uh, I think that's a Spitfire. All right, here they come again. Let's continue to add defenses to the back. Let's set up some barbed wire, too, to slow down the Germans. We'll start at the bottom. Oh, there we go. MG42 trooper popping off there. We go ahead and try to add some more medics to save our troops best we can. The medics will be able to heal multiple men at a time if we have multiple medics. Whoa, somebody got shot. Whoa, sir, are you okay? Man, he got shot out of the sky. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Sorry to see you go. Right, let's go ahead and put uh, mines here. Actually, one sneaky tactic is that we can put mines directly under where the enemy is standing, and it'll set them off. So it almost acts as like precision artillery that fires on them immediately. Right, let's fill in the gaps here. Faster hands. Medic seal 25% faster. That sounds good to me. There we go. Keep our men alive. All right. Oh, boy. The Germans are pushing. A lot more troops on the beach. Right, let's add some airborne down here. Add some more minefields to a large defensive area. Give me more coin rush. Well, we could start setting up MGs. Let's go ahead and do it. The further back we set it up, I guess the more effective it'll be. There we go. All right, additional MGs. Looks like those are M2 HMGs, Browning machine guns there, maybe. Oh, our armored unit could be available now. We get an MG42 as well. That is armored and uh, can basically fire nonstop. Oh, boy. And now the enemy's starting to fire a lot of artillery at us. And, of course, a lot of bazookas. Our base has yet to be damaged. We're doing really well. Let's keep getting these troops out here. All right, let's call off a uh, random bomber strike to see if that'll help out. Let's get rid of those troops there. We're trying to keep troops off the wall a little bit. Let's go with thicker metal for the armored troopers. And look at that. Sherman paratroopers inbound. Yep, looks like it. Three waves of German paratroopers incoming. All right, let's keep making sure we've healed up everybody as best we can. Enemy's going to start attacking the base. Let's put some minefields conveniently under them. Give me artillery strikes randomly. Oh, wow, nice. Good hits, good hits. All right. Well, maybe the story here is that the British uh, fell and uh, now America's being invaded. There was another great game like this, too. Uh, I think it was called, um, oh, damn, I actually forget the name of it. Something like Darkest Hour Fall of Liberty or something like that. An incredible looking uh, World War II game where the Germans actually do invade um, the United States. Really, really cool uh, concept. 
All right, more bombers coming in. It was kind of, kind of almost like a resistance fall. Man, look at the range for these armor troops. Oh damn, our, our health is drastically dropping. We're not gonna we're not gonna stand. Oh, oh, oh there we go. All right, we have to wait 13, collecting over 20, 30, wow, 3,200 coins, and an upgrade for the uh, M1, which is grenade. Yeah, the rifleman gets grenades now. Medic did a great job. I think if you hit the target, then eventually you get more bonuses. So not bad for a first run. So then what we do is we then spend these points if we get any for a next unit. So the sniper's unlocking at 1,600, so we need about 1,000 more. And then it uh, looks like actually we can unlock the bicycle. Now, as we're defending, I have no idea what the purpose of that would be um, because I don't know if they can actually go across the, the, uh, the barrier or whatnot. Let's try the D-Day map one more time, and then we'll go to the World War I map. So let's do the same thing. This time we'll do it from this view to see if we can deploy troops a little faster since we don't have to move the mouse as far. It doesn't look like there's a hotkey for it. All right, troops are holding nicely. Going to go ahead and put everybody kind of in a zigzag pattern. Well, let's go with coins again. The riflemen are really good. The only problem with them is eventually when the Germans get to start in calling in special weapons like artillery, it's almost impossible to keep everybody alive because the medics have to go through fire and I think they can die as well. Speaking of medics, we got access to those, but let's go with more guns for now. And we'll set off some mines and such, maybe by the wall. We'll see how that goes. Beautiful to hear that ping. Nope. Wow. A direct Panzer Shrek hit on that troop there. Artillery strike. Give us a little breathing room here. Let's set up our medics. Uh oh, Dutch volunteers are here. All right, let's go with uh, lightning speed for faster medics. Let's set up more troops in the rear. Barbed wire. Not available just yet. Oh, it costs 800 for that. Yeah, okay, we're going to keep setting up mines. I'm going to keep setting up medics. And I'm going to keep throwing some troops on the front line. All right, expert healer, let's go with that. Try to put two medics next to each other to cover the same area. More firepower in the north. Okay, one barbed wire is up. Very expensive, 800 command points to put down barbed wire. I'm assuming then, based on what maybe a uh, faction we're playing as or what year it may be you know 1917 versus 1944 and the two different wars if we'll get different bonus things it'd be cool to get like railroad artillery or battleship support or um maybe like a world war one bomber or something like that depending on where you're playing that'd be cool i'd like to see that right, let's add some more troops more bike troopers are on the way that those are easy Three points this round. Now we're going to keep putting mines here for when they eventually get up against the barrier. As they get closer, they have more fire. All right, let's see. Looks like we can have a total maximum of 23 soldiers, perhaps? Get the uh, scope rifle, make our M1s deadlier. All right, we have no money indicated by the coins. Here we need about 110 to purchase one unit. And our CP is at 945, so we can buy some more barbed wire. Let's go ahead and keep doing that. We'll buy it. Uh oh. The Germans calling out the heavy troops now. MGs from the bunkers are firing off. Hold the line, boys. Here comes some minor artillery. Oh, German fighter plane coming in. All right, let's give another buff to the rifleman.
More mines. More paratroopers coming in. All right, here's where the real fight begins. Double mag. Let those M1s fire all day. Put our troops around sporadically to spread them out for artillery. German paratroopers. Grenades. Give the M1 grenades. Wonder if it's rifle grenades. It looks like they throw grenades on occasion. So the more of these guys we got, the better. They can throw grenades into the crowds. Nice. It's going to work as artillery, essentially. They can actually throw that quite far. About the middle of the beach. All right. Give me a uh, armored unit now. Give me more paratroopers. All right. We're doing well this time. Another line of mines. More barbed wire. Give me faster hands to the medics since we have them. Southern section starting to fall a bit. Hold them back, boys. All right, now we've taken a little bit of damage. Let's see, airborne. Oh, give me some free troops, please. Oh no, more bike troops. Oh, they should be hitting those mines. We've almost finished mining the whole section. Panzer Shrek coming right in to hit our boys in the face. Uh, let's go with thicker metal for the uh, MG in the south. Maybe he can stand a lot longer. It's about half health. Those units are very expensive at 400 points. But two of them alone can hold the sector. Oh, that, well, never mind. It got wiped. So much for that. All right, let's go with the uh, coin rush. All right, give me more barbed wire. Give me more mines. Give me a group of paratroopers. We're doing much better this time. Hold the line, boys. Upgrade for our heavy gunner. Nice. Oh, damn. Oh, their gunner almost stepped on that mine. Did you see that? Oh, boy. Looks like they're starting to clear all the mines out from the... Oh, what is this? Uh, soldiers around armored unit will get 10% more health. Nice. Bonuses for having those armored troopers out. Very nice. Come on, medics. Heal our armored. He's down to half health. Let's go. Oh no, they're hitting the base. Armors go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. nice. A new upgrade for the uh, medic. Unlimited reach, which must mean that they don't have a limit in how far they can go now. Cool. But that's something that'll pick up randomly. Let's go to our uh, World War One map then. And we should be able to unlock a new unit. We can unlock the bicycle, I suppose. Good for attacks. We'll just spend some points on that and see how it works out. All right, World War One, but it's also World War Two. You'll see Tiger tanks, but then also some of those uh, German tanks. Uh, I always forget the name of the whatever the hell these things are. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the M1s. Imagine if they had that rather than the Springfield. Well, it looks like World War One to me, but also World War Two. Trucks look World War Two. The Tiger tank there is definitely World War Two. You can also, I guess, consider it to be maybe uh, some battle in the Pacific, too, against Japanese forces. Maybe Vietnam, maybe Korea, if you wanted to, as well. Depending on the factions, this map works anyway, so long as you remove the tanks. All right, so rather than a solid line, this is a little bit more interesting layout. I must say I like this map a little bit more. 
But it would be cool if this were a D-Day map too, like above the, you know, just off the beach itself. Let's go with a scope rifle for the M1 so it's more powerful. Put a few troops in the back just, just in case. Don't want any surprises. Too bad we can't fire that artillery, right? Oh boy. Oh, here comes the bicycle troops. Nice, I like how the plane spawned out of the medical tent. That's a good one. Double mag, nice. Yeah, we'll put mines up up close then. Uh, where do we put barbed wire? Can't just yet. Boys, hold the line. Just putting troops wherever now to try to spread out for artillery or what have you. Can we put troops up here? They're out of cover, but at least it's another place to stand. Okay. Oh, wow, there you go. Messerschmitt crashed over here. What? Wow. That actually is a really cool model. Grenades. All right, M1s, go ahead and start throwing grenades. Yeah, I, li I like all the pieces here. The assets look really cool. Oh, yeah, we can stand up here. All right, boys. If you a good spot to put a sniper, we'd just have to unlock one. Maybe don't stand by the barrels, though, there. Big old red barrels on top of that wood area there. No, thank you. Wow, incoming artillery. Let's go with medics now. Creeping barrage, is it? Another group of paratroopers. All right, things are okay for now. Let's wait until the Germans start sending the heavy troops in. The cavalry boys. Okay. Medic for 200 will hold. Call in some more airborne troops, maybe over here. Nice grenades. Wow, that second grenade was like a massive artillery piece. All right, let's go with lightning speed for the medic, and let's start putting down some medics. Hopefully he can get off this cliff. I don't know if he can. Hopefully they can jump down in the trenches. Yep, looks like they can. Good. All right. Oh, boy. Heavy machine guns in the south. Try to weaken them with the mines. All right, expert healer for the medics. Now, what's interesting here is that when the enemy hits the front line, I'm not exactly sure what they're causing damage to. Uh, for here, we have tents everywhere. Maybe we have to protect the commander who's barking orders on the front line, or maybe we have to protect the artillery piece or something like that. And on the D-Day beaches, it's like, well, I, they're firing small arms at us, so I, I don't know what we're de defending on a, a beach literally with concrete and rebar versus rifles. Pretty sure the bunker's going to win against that. Okay, more coins, please. Wow, we have now, now a thousand bucks for troops. Awesome, let's get some more... Oh hell, this is a lot easier. So far. Well, maybe famous last words. Wow, the Germans are really pushing. Here it goes. Let's go with the uh, medics to heal faster, please. Trying to minimize losses as much as possible. Oh, here, here comes the artillery. Here comes the uh, bazookas. Medic healing uh Radius is unlimited. Yeah, here comes the Panzer Shreks. Here comes the artillery. Here comes the money, money, money. Oh boy. Yeah, just overlap the medics like crazy now. A lot of aircraft coming in. Coin rush again, giving us more money to spend on troops. Oh, 
Okay. Let's go with, with the armored unit. We need 400. Cover from up there with the machine gun. The armored unit is so much better than the mounted machine gun because the armored unit, though he fires in bursts, can last a lot longer and has like 360 degrees of fire. Although you're probably only going to be using about 180 of that. Thicker metal on the upgrades. Thick. Get that thick upgrade. Defense is looking a little light in the southern section. More M1s because we can throw grenades. Uh, let's get the uh, heat resistant. Oh boy, I'm not going to call in a bomber. Let's keep calling in those airborne troops and mines. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. Get wrecked, my friends. Get wrecked. Oh wow, another upgrade? All right. Oh, this is it. This is the big push. This is the big one. Ah, here they come. There's so many. There's so many of them. Hold the line, boys. There's so many. Point rush. Oh, boy. A14 is, is popping off now. Overlap those medics. Point rush. Wow. It's like playing for Dunn. More medics, keep those troops alive. Oh, that unlimited reach is awesome. Trying to place troops as quickly as possible. More Germans. Give me an artillery strike. Yeah. Woo! Hell yeah. Wow, did that one hit a plane? Looks like it explode. Oh my god, the amount of German aircraft. That's crazy. The Nazis went back in time to World War One to bring all this technology. I didn't mean to click the machine gun. Damn it. Trying to place a man. Well, we could try a machine gun. Why not at this point? We're holding. More sandbags. More defenses for the MGs. Oh my god, this is a full-scale battle now! Oh, this is so much better than the D-Day map. Get more M1s in there. We want more grenade tossers. Go, go with grenades. Oh wow, this is where you go to unlock things, baby. Wave 17, hold the line! Give me more coins, please. Go, go, go. More troops. Oh, it's looking light in the middle, but now I put all the boys on the high ground. It's over, Germany. I have the high ground. Give me more coin rush. Overlap those medics again. We need to get the medics back up. All right. More coin rush, please. More medics, please. More Ovaltine, please. Yeah. Hold that line. Okay. Give me a bomber rush. Mines. Paratroopers. Barbed wire. Going well. Point rush, go. Oh, 
Oh man, how long are we gonna last? HQ is taking some damage. German paratroopers are just intensifying their attacks. Dear God. Oh boy. Oh wow, 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 wow. Oh, they're about to break through. I'm gonna do it, boys. It's over. Not, not looking good. Too many bicycles. Go quickly. Oh, that's it, boys. That is GG. <laughs> Woo! That is a hell of a lot of upgrades. My goodness. Wow, look at the amount of coins. Oh, man, it's still going. Oh, my God. Are we going to hit 10K? No way. It's still going. Oh, not 10K, but 1,000 coins. Wait, that felt like way more than just uh, 1, 1K. Well, that is our time today, everybody, for this really interesting and cool game that makes me want to go back and play uh, Warfare 19... I think it was 1917 or 18. Correct me down below. And also to Warfare 1944. I know I got that one right because D-Day, brother. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. You guys can go ahead and get uh, North End Tower Defense on Steam if you'd like to with a lot of uh, work to be done and a lot of things in progress. Seems like a little, little bit of fun to be had in the meantime. All right, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Leave a like on the way out for these devs. Go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more World War II games and such on the channel. And thank you very much for becoming members to support. Only 99 cents to start. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.